now if I must talk about my treasure. Kate, your strength and determination to get things done is amazing. If the nickname I gave you as treasure was right, you have become more than a little ray of sunshine in our lives. You are a shining light for all of us to admire. And I hope, I hope that you, you know the truth That my time, my effort, my soul, it's all for you For you, it's all for you So they met when they were 16 and 17 in 2002. Their friendship blossomed over summer and school holidays and in June of 2004, Kyron asked Kate to be his girl. They've grown from teenagers into adults, learnt many things about each other, about life and about love. They've travelled, studied and battled through, along the roads of injury and been there for each other's families through sickness and through grief. In 2008, they decided to live together and in Kyron's words, they maintained three living quarters before purchasing their own home in the leafy suburb of Loftus, a cosy three bedroom home with their two pets, Oscar and Lexi, which complement their lifestyle. So we stand here today on the very spot where Kate and Kyron started from a wolf whistle one summer's day <laughs> in April in 2004 when Kate, her sister Jodie and their friend lay on the beach behind us discussing how Kyron had tried to kiss Kate the night before. Kate refused Kyron's advances that night and Kyron believed it was due to his impaired state from a few froffies with the boys. <laughs> Kate yeah. felt as though she may have given Kyron the wrong impression on how she felt about him. So a quick boost to her confidence with their friend who dared Kate by saying, if Kyron walks past in the next 10 minutes, I dare you to go and tell him how you really feel. The dare was sealed with, of course, a pinky promise, with Kate believing that there was no way Kyron was going to walk past in the allotted time. But as fate has it, five minutes passed and there was Kyron walking down that path and Kate exclaiming, no, way. <laughs> With her friend excitedly jumping up and down, reminding her of the pinky promise, Kate fulfilled that promise and well, here we are today. Today we are sealing the promise of love and commitment made between Kate and Kyron with something much older and much stronger than a pinky promise. With marriage. I now invite you to greet Kyron and Kate as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>
a picture of Kyron, of who he was before. He met, uh, met Kate that fateful day, 10, almost 11 years ago now. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, Kyron uh, was an up-and-coming rapper. Uh, um, <laughs> now, an up-and-coming rapper. Uh, <laughs> he took the stage at the local uh, club, put his hoodie on, you know, go up. Get ready. Check, 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 check. Yeah. And uh, for anyone that knows Eminem, they probably know the, know the song Lose Yourself. Anybody know? Basically goes, his palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his shirt already. Mom, spaghetti. He's nervous. When they are. Anyway, I could keep going on, but could you imagine? <laughs> I won't do that to Eminem. I'm the worst. The vocalist ever. Um... But anyway, after he met Kate, his taste in music changed uh, to Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber. Um, <laughs> you did, you did, you did. But each their own. Each their own. But as my father Rick uh, spoke about earlier, Kyron had a bit of a uh, long mullet as a child. Um, and such was the fact that once it was chopped off, he kept it in a box for many years. He cling, cling wrapped his, uh, his mullet uh, and kept it there for, for, as I said, for many, many years and used to pull it out from time to time and just look at it and I don't know what was going on. It's, it was the strangest, weirdest thing. I used to walk in and go, what is he doing? He's it's, it's got his mullet out again. And, and Kate, you may even find it in your house somewhere. I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> Thank God. It's been a long time It's been a long time